Hello my friends. Today I'm going to review the Sig Sauer P220 Legion chambered in 10 millimeter. This is one cool 10 millimeter semi-automatic pistol. I'm going to quickly run through the specs with you. Then I'm going to tell you the five things I like and the five things I hate about this pistol. And then we're going to go shoot it. Let's get started. This is the Sig Sauer P220 Legion, which was introduced to the market in 2016 and updated in December 2022. It is available in both double action, single action and single action only and neither have a grip safety. Mine is single action only. This pistol is designed for personal defense and duty use. This pistol has a 5 inch barrel, an overall length of 8.8 .8 inches, weighs 42 ounces, has a 6 pound trigger pull, and a magazine capacity of 8 rounds. It comes with electro optics, x ray, high visibility, day night sights, and some even come with an optic cutout. The MSRP is $1,599. This pistol has the best sights on a non-1911 hammer-fired 10mm pistol in my collection. The first thing I love about this pistol, this bad boy looks rugged as heck. It's got this uh, really nice finish on it. It's solid metal. Yeah, you got some plastic. The grip is plastic, but the rest of the gun is all metal. And uh, it just has a look and feel of, of something really rugged, something that you could really take to battle with you and it would do well. That's the first thing, rugged as heck. Second thing I love about this bad boy is it's got the optic cutout there. With an optic cutout, I can put a red dot on it. A red dot means that I can be more accurate with this because as an older gentleman, I don't see up close very well. Even though these are great sights, I do better with the red dot when it comes to accuracy. And I can use the red dot with this pistol, so I love that. The third thing I love about this pistol are the sights. These are electro optics day night sights. If you can't afford a red dot, these are some of the best iron sights you can get. If you like iron sights, these bad boys, they glow in the dark, they glow in the day, makes it really easy for you to acquire your target. So I love these sights. Fourth thing I love about this is this easy takedown lever. I'm not gonna take this pistol down because sometimes, even though according to YouTube rules, you should be able to take down a gun without any problems, but YouTube has been demonetizing my videos and uh, I can't for the life of me figure out why. They don't really give any details, so I've gotta do everything better than by the book. And so I'm not going to take this apart. I will, however, show you how this works without taking it apart. You just go like that, you lock the slide back, take out the magazine, you flip that all the way over. Now you can take it apart easy peasy. When you're done cleaning it, put it back on, pop that back, decock it, put in the magazine and you're good to go. So I love a gun that's really easy to disassemble and reassemble. And you get that with the Sig P220. The fifth thing I love about this bad boy is it's got a five inch barrel. I love myself a long barrel. In fact, my favorite 10 millimeter pistols actually have six inch barrels. This is only a half inch from a six inch barrel, but I, I love it. I find that, you know, with a longer barrel, you also have a longer sight radius, which also means more accurate. Also with a longer barrel, you get more time that the bullet increases in speed. And so it's gonna be a little bit more powerful with that extra length. I love that. Now I'm gonna tell you the five things I don't like about this pistol. First thing I hate about this pistol is the plastic grip. I don't like plastic on my gun. Although for a plastic grip, this is very grippy. This is one of the best plastic grips I've ever felt, but it's still a plastic grip. I don't like that. Second thing I don't like, eight round magazine. Yeah, I know. All 1911 style 10 millimeter pistols have eight round magazines. I get that. I'd rather be a 2011 magazine, hold 15 or 16 rounds. So that would be better, but it is what it is. So. Eight rounds, we'll have to do. Third thing I don't like about this pistol is it has no grip safety. Now, let me tell you why. I used to not like grip safeties, but then after carrying 1911s for a while, I started noticing that every once in a while, my safety got switched off. And I have no idea how that happens, if it's movement inside the holster or what. But that secondary safety is very comforting. Now, I will tell you, since this doesn't have a grip safety, this safety is actually stiffer than a regular 1911 safety. 
I think they do that because they don't have a grip safety, but I'd still prefer a grip safety so I can keep it cocked and locked and know that I got two safeties to keep it from accidentally shooting. Fourth thing I don't like about this is it's a $1,600 pistol. MSRP is $1,600. I feel like it's a little bit pricey for what you get. Yeah, it's a good gun, but $1,600, you know, I have a Kimber 10 millimeter that's $1,600. It's, I feel like it's a little bit better value than this. It's SIG, so you gotta pay for that name, right? The fifth thing I don't like about this pistol is it seems to have a long trigger reset. So you got this big old long take up and then you pull the trigger. There's really, um, there's just a little bit of, uh, there's just a little bit of creep. I don't think you could get any less of a creep while still having creep with this trigger, but you get a little bit of like a micrometer of creep and then it breaks. But here's the thing. For reset, you kind of release the trigger a little bit. And I wish the reset was right about there, but, and I know it's hard for you to see, but you got to go a little bit longer and then you have your reset. I like a nice and tight reset so you can shoot a little bit faster. You don't have to pull your finger out as far before you re-engage and shoot. You know, I haven't tested all my guns to see what the reset is like. I just know that when uh, going over this to figure out what I like and don't like, I noticed that reset does feel a little bit long for my liking. Not a big deal. Overall, this is a phenomenal pistol. I do have to try to come up with five things I don't like about it. And those five things are just very, very, very minor. In fact, um, <laughs> if I didn't have some other guns that I like better than this, this would be a pretty cool everyday carry. I mean, it's pretty solid. It's pretty substantial. As it turns out, there are some 10 millimeter pistols that I do like better than this. So I will be selling this, unfortunately. It's only so I can buy some other guns to review. If you like this video so far, can you go ahead and press that like button? And if you haven't subscribed yet and you value the Second Amendment, can you go ahead and subscribe to my channel? That'll show your support for the Second Amendment. And it'll also help the channel so I can bring to you much better videos. Also, if you'd like to help out the channel, why don't you take a look at my library and see if there's any other videos you'd like to watch. I've got well over a hundred full length videos. You can watch me review other guns. I got some really cool guns I review on this channel. So why don't you take a look and see what else you might like. Let's go ahead and head out to the range now. Hey my friends, so we're out at the range. We're at a different one this time. Um, we've got a rock set up. We're gonna shoot it with the P220 Legion from about 25 feet away. Wish me luck. Hearing protection. Gotta say, I absolutely love this pistol. I think this pistol is a keeper. Yeah, it's got plastic grips and it looks like it should hold a double stack magazine, but only holds a single stack magazine. But this thing is sweet. This thing is comfortable to shoot. It actually feels like I'm shooting a nine millimeter when I shoot this. So it handles the recoil extremely well and it feels incredibly accurate. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and set up some metal targets real quick. Hang tight and I'll be back. We got the metal targets set up. Uh, we're gonna see how we do with this bad boy. Yeah, well, I did pretty good. 
I love shooting this pistol. I'm gonna go ahead and set up some more targets and we'll go again. I'd like to share with you a product that has literally worked miracles for me. I've been lifting quite a bit most of my life and uh, I always seem to hit this plateau of about 220 pounds on the bench press. And I ended up making a friend at the gym who's a doctor of Chinese medicine. You know, over the years, he, he came up with this formula uh, for a pre-workout that uh, literally uh, blows you past all your plateaus. It's a proof for the NFL, Navy SEALs operators use it. Check it out. I'm gonna have the link in the description. You go there, uh, use the code uh, cult of arms and you'll get 25% off this product. While taking this product, I've been able to blow through all of my plateaus and I ended up getting a max bench of 455 pounds. I would never be able to do this without the world's greatest pre-workout. I'm not even a serious weightlifter. I'm just a casual weightlifter taking this pre-workout. And over the years, like I said, I've been able to blow past my plateaus and get phenomenal results. Like I said, 450 pound bench press. I can do 10 curls of uh, 135 pounds, which blows me away. I didn't know that that was even possible. If you lift weights at all, you need to try this product. It's gonna up your game significantly. Give it a shot, try it for a month, see how you do. If you're stuck in a plateau and you can't make any more gains, or if you just wanna increase the rate at which you make gains, give this pre-workout a try. The company's clear path, the product is muscle. You'll get 25% off if you use a discount code, cult of arms, all one word. I'm gonna put it down in the description so you can see it there. Check it out, buy it. If you use it as directed, you're gonna fall in love. Okay guys, we got the water set up. We're gonna go ahead and see how we do it at the P22. I'm gonna be shooting from about 25 feet away. Wish me luck. I love it, wonderful gun. Y'all should give it a try, I'm not kidding. This is a beautiful gun, fun to shoot. Sig makes great guns. I think if I keep it, I'm gonna try to put a threaded barrel on it too, cause that would be cool. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed reviewing and shooting this gun, it was a blast. Appreciate you uh, sticking through to the end. If you guys like this video, go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, please. It supports the Second Amendment. Also, remember, I've got a massive library of incredible videos on guns. All kind, I shoot all kinds of guns, machine guns, antique guns, military guns, uh, regular pistols, and all kinds of different guns. So uh, check it out. I know that you're going to enjoy binging on my videos. So go ahead and do it. Love you guys. See you guys next week. You have a good one. Goodbye.